Hey guys, my name's Mac Gervais, and I am the lead pastor and church planter for City West Church um, here in Houston. Uh, but I am actually the son of Haitian immigrants, and so I want to talk to you a little bit about Haiti and where things go. What becomes interesting for me it, when I think about the spiritual climate of Haiti um, is where my own family comes from. What a lot of people don't know is that my grandma was actually the first Christian, not just in our family, but the first Christian in her city from Haiti. Her father, um, so my great-grandfather being a, a very powerful voodoo priest. And when you think about witchcraft, um, demonic movement um, within that nation, uh, even uh, at their uh, uh, anniversary um, about a decade ago, rededicating themselves to voodoo, there is just this reality that there is a deep amount of um, uh, evil, um, darkness uh, warfare at hands. And I think if you couple that with the uh, political difficulties and corruption, economic difficulties, I think it makes for a very difficult environment. Haitians themselves uh, carry an incredible amount of pride uh, being uh, uh, slaves who won their own freedom. Uh, but at the same time, um, we can see how that freedom has not led them to actually have freedom in life. It's led them uh, to still experience an incredible amount of darkness. And so as we continue to think about churches that need to be planted, when you think about uh, the movement of God that needs to take place in the, this country, it's in that backdrop of all of those things and the fact that voodoo and devil worship, witchcraft still plays a heavy uh, part in the day-to-day -day lives of so many people. And so what we need then are strong believers to rise up, strong church planters, uh, who will be able to stand in the midst of great darkness, um, in the midst of great uh, corruption in the political uh, systems that exist, and uh, not allow themselves to be influenced by that, but to stand firm and to preach the gospel, to um, allow the Spirit to use them to tear down strongholds. And so uh, it's an incredibly difficult and tall task that's ahead, but we also know that God is sovereign and, and, uh, and able to do. And I'm grateful, um, in part, uh, for the mission work that takes place because if it hadn't been for a missionary going into the dark place of Haiti a hundred years ago to share the gospel with my grandma um, then I would not be here and several of the churches that were birthed out of that movement um, that my grandfather and my grandmother helped start uh, would not exist today and so uh, with that in mind I just want you to join me in prayer as we pray for Haiti pray for pastors pray for church planners pray for the movement of God God, we just thank you just for this day and for the work that we're doing, and we're so glad that we know that you're not done, um, that it's not just about something that you did in the life of a teenager a hundred years ago, but it's the continuing work of the, your Holy Spirit. And God, we're grateful that even in the midst of great darkness, we have seen uh, the light overcome the darkness, and that there are people being saved, there are people being brought out of darkness into light. And we pray that you would continue to do that, but in an exponential way, rising up, raising up leaders um, in Haiti uh, to stand firm in your truth and to preach your word without a shame. Lord, we pray for the believers that are there now. Uh, we pray against the attacks of the enemy, the literal demon worship um, that takes place. Uh, God, that you would just protect uh, your people, that you would uh, remind them that greater is he that is in them than one that is in the world. Um, and that you would use them mightily in the lives of people um, to push back the darkness. And so, Lord, we just uh, love you, and we pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, guys, thanks for having me, and uh, let's continue to pray for Haiti.